your turn, sweetheart. Ah, oh, jeez. I can't even go after that. Okay. <clears throat> okay. My name's Lauren, a.k.a. Cupid, because I set these two up. I knew she was a little single and ready to mingle, and so was Adam. I knew that he thought she was cute, which obviously, and I was like, hey, here's her number, text her. I guess uh, there are some things you need to know about Adam, especially the uh, Coleman side. Uh, he is a total liability. After he gets a couple drinks in him and there's some good music playing, he thinks he can dance. He usually, he does this little, bot. he puts his bottle down and he'll do some uh, foot movement and stuff. But it's all right on a, a floor like this, but when you're in a bar and it's slippery, it's about a 50-50 shot. She got um, Hillary, bless your heart. I can stand up here and say all kinds of mushy things, and you know I can be pretty mushy at times. But I'm not going to tonight. <laughs> I love you both very much. I'm very excited, Hillary, to have you join our family and become the next Mrs. Bordeaux. All righty, before we take our vows, we're going to take just a minute. We're going to listen to what the Bible has to say about marriage. Number one, marriage is ordained of God. We didn't think this up. God said it is not good that a man should be alone. Would you agree with him? I mean... The answer is yes, Bubba. Yes. <laughs> Adam, we love you as if you were our own. The two of you are so lucky to have found each other. A little bit of history. I had a heart attack. And Adam came to the hospital... And while he was there, less than 24 hours after my heart attack, he had the conversation with me about asking Hillary to marry him. I just had a heart attack. So it was a good thing that I love Adam the way I love Adam. Hillary, since the moment you came out of my life, you have totally changed my perspective on love and what is important in a relationship. You are the kindest, most genuine person I've ever known. It's easy for others to show those traits in front, of, in front of people that they don't spend intimate time with. But as our relationship grew, I knew that this is truly who you are on an everyday basis, even behind closed doors. A few years ago, you came into my life when I needed you most. Even though I may not have realized that at the time, you are the most giving, caring, and compassionate human I have ever met or known. It humbles me to this day that I get to call that person my wife in just a few hours. I could not ask for a better person to do life with and grow old together. I have been looking forward to watching you walk down the aisle to me since the day I said I love you. And it's wild to think that very thing is about to happen. I love you, Hillary, and I'll see you soon. Love, Adam. Hmm. 
Yeah. I think it looks great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to wrinkle nothing up. Right. Ooh, ready. Ready to walk me down there? Huh? You ready to walk me down there? I guess so. I don't have a choice though. Okay. Yeah. Adam, I take you to be my husband, my faithful partner, and my lifelong best friend. I'll always pray with you, dream with you, encourage you, and always lift you up. I promise to watch reruns of The Office and New Girl <laughs> with you while eating one of your many home-cooked meals, of course. And I promise to always make goofy faces at you even when you roll your eyes at me every <laughs> single time. There are many for things for sure in this life, such as the colors with the seasons, warmth with the summer, cold with the winter, and you with me. You, you share my same passions and determinations to be successful in life in every way possible. I truly do not know how God blessed me with a woman with your looks. Woo! Look at this damn thing right here. <laughs> Lord, thank you so much for this beautiful day and for giving us beautiful angel right next to us, Hillary. She is so amazing and we're so thankful for our friendship. And we just ask you to be with us today, be with us in the ceremony, and more importantly, be with Hillary during their marriage. They are so thankful for each other. And we know today it's gonna to be beautiful and you are gonna be here and we're gonna feel your presence, Lord. Lord, just be with them in their marriage and bless them forever. I declare that from this day forward, you are husband and wife, and what God has joined together, let not man ever put asunder. Amen. Kiss and time, Bob. with Adam and to be equally loved and appreciated makes my sister heart so happy. I really can't put it into words. And Adam, I have dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Watching you love my sister the way you do is something that I will forever be grateful for. You never tried to change her or had her quirks. You allowed her to be herself you stand behind her and you let her shine like the diamond she is. You've given her a love story that's so sweet. Watching you two together is like you look at each other as if you're the only two in the room. Adam, I choose you. I choose you today, tomorrow, and for eternity. I'll always choose you and I promise you my love forever. <laughs> 